Greetings traders, this is Robert from Rust Star Day Trading. Just wanted to put this little video together about how to add indicators, uh, specifically the North Star Day Trading indicators, to Quant Tower charts. Now, this is going to assume that you already have Quant Tower downloaded and installed and kind of set up the way you like. Uh, we're going to connect to your broker so we have data so we can actually populate uh, the chart and make sure that the indicators are working. Okay, so once you subscribe to the indicators through North Star Day Trading, uh, we send you a DLL file. Um, DLL is a dynamic link library. It's just a single file that has your MAC address for your PC embedded in it, and that is for the license verification. Now, it's very important that we put that file in the correct location. So here we have an example of where my Quant Tower uh, uh, is installed at. <clears throat> I have two versions actually. The AMP Quant Tower, which is what we're looking at here. It's uh, from AMP Futures with a CQG connection. And then this here is the generic Quant Tower. So if I wish to try uh, any other programs or data feeds uh, that connects to, to Rhythmic, I have it set in two locations. That is generally not the case. You'll usually have one location. And the interesting part is when once you download Quant Tower, and you extract it, it's gonna to try to install it in the downloads area. So I would suggest picking a different location on your local drive uh, so you know where it is easily. Again, I have, if I go to my C drive right here, notice I have Quant Tower, uh, excuse me, AMP Quant Tower, and I also have Quant Tower here. Uh, again, it's sometimes it may, it may want to put it in the downloads area. I've actually seen it uh, go under the users and like the username area like that. So for, for mine, <clears throat> I have it in Quant Tower. Uh, and this is an indicator, so we need to put it in the settings directory. And then under scripts, indicators. And because this is North Star Day Trading, we actually have to create this folder. It's going to look for that. Create a folder called NSDT. And then we will copy and paste that DLL in this folder. Notice I have several in here. These are several indicators that we have at this point in time. And uh, this is the one we're going to be working with, the NSDT zone predictor. So I'm sim simply going to paste it in this area. And the moment I do that, I can now come up to my indicators area, click on it, and it will show in an NSDE custom location. And this is just basically what it looks like. This is the default location, and it has all the, uh, uh, the built-in indicators. <clears throat> and under custom, we will see the folder we created, NSDT. And we have the indicators that are loaded, and there is our zone predictor. Now, when I double click on that, it's going to add it to my chart, and it's going to put it in with the default settings. Now, I'm just going to close this right now because the defaults are slightly different. Uh, this is my zone predictor uh, that I have. Actually, it looks like they are the, the default settings. Uh, for demonstration purposes here, I'm using MNQ, the U contract, um, and this is August 19th, 2023. And I'm using a 40 tick range bar chart. It's not a tick chart, it's a range chart, range bars. Um, <clears throat> so this is what I'm using right now. I have a depth of 10. The depth is how far it's looking into the market, how much movement needs to happen. Uh, the zone size, uh, excuse me, the max amount of zones is 20. That means it's going to show the previous 20 zones. I don't need more than that, but it will count them back and continue if you put 30, 40, or 50. It's not necessary because we're just going to play the most recent zones anyway. Now I have a minimum zone size in points, so I'm not going to take any trades. It's not going to plot anything that is less than three points. Um, or anything greater than 15 points. That's just kind of my standard setup. These are small uh, trades you take along the way. And if you think of uh, NQ, I happen to be on MNQ here, but if you think of the NQ, it's $20 a point. You take a 10 point trade, it's $200. You can use multiple contracts if you want. Uh, it seems to work out pretty good. Uh, more importantly, that is where the zone predictor uh, shines, right in that, that sweet spot. Not too small because you don't want to lose on commissions or just take two tick trades with slippage and everything, um, but you want to make it worthwhile. So I'm, I'm choosing three, three points. Um, and then we have a zone colors down here. Uh, if it's a bearish zone, would be down below. It's going to make it red, bullish up above. Uh, once it says inactive, I actually actually change this called completed. Um, it turns gray. So once a zone, if there's a zone right here, once it's passed through, it will turn gray. If a zone is entered and not completed, for example, let's say this came down into a red zone, it entered here, but the zone was down here, and it just entered and kept went the other direction, the zone will change blue. So we know that it has been hit, but it hasn't been completed yet. 
this here we're going to this is uh, this here um it's allowing you to to click if you double click on the chart it places an order that is in development do not use that set it to off and at least for right now as of the date and time of this video uh don't use that at this point okay um these things are just here for, for showing that the the data series is not going to show anything on the side i can actually pull that out um, we don't need to have it on, we don't need to update on tick because the zone will be completed until the bar closes. So you can definitely use bar close. So let me turn it on I'm up here. This is the, um, show and hide. Let me turn it on and we can see this is what it looks like. So we have a pending zone up here, which is green pending zones here, which are red, the completed zones, which means for example, this one here was plotted and it was gone through, it entered and went through, it turns it gray. Uh, and this one here is an incomplete zone where entered it uh, went the other direction it did not complete this zone that may be something i want to look at in the future uh, generally they they do all hit for example this one here was entered and went the other direction and then went through so uh, i generally do not take the zones a second time uh, unless there's a certain criteria for example this i would take this a second time because it entered here notice how we have these zones stacking up now running top of each other um it actually looks like this may have entered right here so we have this zone and this zone this being entered here maybe by a tick or so went the other direction so this this one right here would be blue but it would be blue on top of this one which hasn't been completed yet so this would be one that i would most likely take as a second entry uh this one here entered it did not complete uh, if it did complete, it would be gray and it would stop plotting here like it did here. So this one here uh, looks like an entry went the other direction. I actually probably would not take this zone a second time uh, because one, the size of it, it was really close with some hard rejections. And I don't have several stacking up on top of each other like this one would and like this one. So this one, yes, I'd take it and let it run through these zones. This one, if I'm looking at it over here, not so much. I would probably let that one go just as a little example. But as far as uh, entering these or uh, installing these indicators, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, contact me for the indicator you're interested in, um, actually for, for any of them because uh, joining the Discord gets you all of the indicators and all of the bots for all of the platforms. <clears throat> this being Quant Tower, if you, if you want the zone predictor, um, I will send you the DLL file. Make sure we put it in the same location, in the correct location here of your installation directory. Uh, and then it will show up in a list and you can simply add it to your chart. For example, let's take a uh, let's do a break and buffer. There we go. The reaction speed is one. That's very fast. And we have uh, a buffer depth of 20. That's how deep it allows before it actually closes off the buffer here and changes direction. It allows it into a, a, a depth of 20. And that's just a, a formula that I, I use for these. Um, you can change the colors. No problem. Change the, uh, the lines that you, that you like. Uh, in the shading that you that you wish to use no problem and then you can show and hide the indicators and they update in real time so if we watch this indicator and let's say i change the buffer depth of 20 if i reduce it these should all shrink i'm just going to click see we reduce the depth of it we can see how this turned into the other color pretty quickly um, and we also have the reaction speed where we can uh, increase the speed of it if we go way up <clears throat> see it's going to really make a pause before it actually changes the direction uh, i definitely want it to react quickly and generally um, that was on 20 i believe as by default i think i like to keep it around 15 or 16. we can see this it just breaks into green and we're gonna it's gonna stay green it gives us some room it has a bit of a, a pullback dropping into it and see how this is widening out right here that's just showing us a stronger push in the upper direction we have some overlapping um, candles here and, and being range bars it makes all the sense in the world then we had two large black candles on the downside probably something I would just take the and close the trade out on just as an example but we can see this one here we would be closing it out if we're closing here this may be almost a break-even trade because we're not getting into it right around this area uh, you can use it multiple ways you can give yourself a bit more buffer and just wait until the the color changes so you're entering on a green here you see a little bit of a pullback, but you just you're staying and you're waiting. And you're getting out once your color changes. Um, so however way you want to play it, but that's what this particular indicator is called. And as you can see, we have uh, several uh, of them uh, as it stands right now, and several more in development. Well, that's a tutorial on adding indicators to the uh, Quant Tower uh, NSDT indicators. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. 
and trade well.